Seekers, we're here in East Earl, Pennsylvania, in Lancaster County, right in front of the largest buffet in the United States, Shady Maples. We came here once before and had dinner, so we thought we'd come back and try out the lunch buffet. So y'all come along and join us as we go inside and have a delicious lunch. Let's go inside and check out this buffet. Thank you. As you walk in, this is what it looks like on the inside. Here is the buffet line. I started at the upper end, panning around, coming down to the lower end. And all the way down to that wall, there's nothing but buffet bars. So let's go see what's on. On this bar, they have pork barbecue, the famous roast beef, pork kraut, rice. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, brown gravy, chicken gravy, and some potato wedges. Here we have some baked cod, a marinated chicken breast, <laughs> shrimp, a stuffed chicken and broccoli, ham balls, and over here it has the fried chicken. On this one, we have some roast pork, we have some turkey, roast beef, and some of the same items that you see on the other buffet. We got some fried chicken, ham balls, stuffed chicken and broccoli, with sausages, fried shrimp, and baked cod. Right here we have some sweet potato bake, some fresh steamed vegetables, noodles, corn, beets, green beans, baked lime with some bacon. Not quite sure what that is. Dried corn and then some mini corn dogs. We have scallop corn, broccoli. Barbecue beans, carrots, mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts, stewed tomatoes, cabbage, baked yams with cinnamon, and onion rings. Here's the salad bar. Everything looks nice and fresh. Spinach, yeah, red onions. Red peppers, cherry tomatoes, carrots, cucumbers, cauliflower, broccoli, mushrooms, green peppers, some bacon pickles, olives, and some fresh bacon crumbles. All right here is a cranberry salad, some apple sauce, peaches, cranberry sauce, cottage cheese, some chow chow, pepper, cabbage. Beets, red eggs, cucumber salad, coleslaw, potato salad, macaroni salad, cheese, eggs, salad dressing, and your croutons. We have some barbecue wings, jalapeno poppers, wings, 
And it's then we have, oh, I would say this too. Put the water time though. And no more. Get some more water. More soups here. Cheese. And some chili. And some french fries. Doesn't matter, just well done. Right here we have Delmonico steaks and New York strips. Fresh off the grill. Here's some brisket, some ham. We have the grilled onions, mushrooms, baked potato. We have pizza. You can get yourself a hot dog or a cheeseburger. You got your steaks grilling. Here are your stuff for your burgers, your lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles. Here are some of the desserts they carry. We have this roasted apples. And at the back there is a gluten-free peach crisp, an apple crisp, apple dumplings, and cherry cobbler. And right here on the top shelf is apple pie. And then over here we have some gluten-free apple cake, gluten-free pumpkin cake, and a gluten-free chocolate cake. Shoe fly pie. And here are some of your toppings for the soft serve ice cream you carry. And right over here is the ice cream machine. Here's your cones, some sugar-free chocolate mousse, jello, sugar-free fruit salad, fresh raspberries, watermelon, a fruit salad, chocolate pudding, peanut butter crunch, blueberry pretzel, a butterscotch sundae, tapioca, egg custard, and eclair with peanuts. Peanut butter cake, some carrot cake. Looks like a red velvet cake. And up top we have cheese cake. Maybe some strawberry. Pecan pie. Maybe a blueberry pie. Peach and then cherry. And yeah, here's the drink stations. They have Pepsi products, juices, milk. You can get chocolate milk or just regular white milk, coffees, sweet tea, unsweet tea. And here is some kind of a cane sugar premium soda. Regular and decaf coffee. You got your creams right here for your coffees, cappuccinos. And this area right here is where all your condiments are kept at. Your steak sauces, barbecue sauces, anything you need right up here. All right, Cindy went and got her first plate. What all did you get, Cindy? I got fried chicken. I got a little bit of mac and cheese. I found some noodles, so I'm gonna try these. You know how I was so in love with these at the other place right so we'll see how they are um a little piece of cod sweet potato a sausage one shrimp just trying to get a little bit and then uh turkey and mashed potatoes okay everything looks good you got well, i'm gonna try these noodles first i hope you like these as much as you did at uh dinner's but you know these are not brown yeah i don't see the spice on it either well you know from that butter but that doesn't mean they're not good let me see What do you think? They're delicious too. You like them? I do like them. I don't know if I like them quite as well as the other ones I had, but they're good and I would you know, definitely recommend getting those. My first plate, I got me a steak, a baked potato, and some grilled onions. That steak is huge. 
cut in that steak and see how it looks. Now you ordered it medium? Mm hmm. You can order it up, up how you want it. But. Does that look medium to you? It's hard for me to see. You cut in the middle. I can really see. It's probably like medium well. I told him I thought I said medium to medium well is what okay. I told him. Well, what did you think of your first bite? It tastes pretty good. Not, it's tender. And I like a grilled onion. Let's I see how they taste. Did. They're good. Got salt and pepper on You know, we um, were planning on doing a lunch buffet. Little did we know that Columbus Day was going to be considered a holiday and it was a dinner buffet. But um, when you look at that as far as your value, being able to get a steak. You know, it's not a bad price for $22.99. You know, like I said, steak. They got all kind of other stuff which I filmed. You'll see that in the video. But for the price, you know, it's not a bad value. And I also noticed, as far as looking at the value, they had chicken wings up there. Mm -hmm. And you order wings out somewhere, they're usually pretty expensive. Yeah, wings are expensive. Um, they also had some shrimp, and shrimp's not cheap either when you order that, you know, at a restaurant or buy it in the store for that matter. So they do have some items up there that I think kind of make the buffet worth it, especially if you're a good eater. You know, if you're going to eat right much, I think it, it's worth it. Well, I went and got my second plate. I had mashed potatoes, a sweet potato with some cinnamon on it, some of the roast beef, some baby carrots, broccoli. I got a few shrimp and a ham ball. I know we have tried the ham ball, so I'm gonna give that a try. All right, here goes the ham ball. Looks like a meatball. Kind of reminds me of a meatball. Can you tell it's ham? Yeah, you can taste the ham. The ham's got more saltiness than beef or turkey. They're not bad. I know that's one of those uh, Pennsylvania Dutch foods, the right. meatballs. I'm gonna try the roast beef now. Good. You like that? Got a good taste to it. Nice and tender. Get some mashed potatoes to go with it. Oh, you're in heaven with your mashed potatoes and your. I love gravy. Mm -hmm. You like the taste of the gravy? It's not bad. It has a little bit different taste. I don't know if it's the gravy or something in the mashed potatoes, but it's kind of a. I wonder if they have sour cream in their mashed potatoes. It could, because it does have a different taste than normal. I'm wondering that. Some people put that in their mashed potatoes. It, it's different taste than what I'm used to. You're used to just uh, butter and milk in your mashed potatoes. I got a piece of cheesecake, and you can see it's a very thin slice, which is a good thing for a buffet like this. So if you want to try more than one dessert. All you need there is some strawberries to go on that cheesecake. That's right, that's right. It's good. You can see that it's creamy. You look at the texture. It's lighter than some cheesecakes I've had. It's not quite as heavy as some. I'm glad you like it. For dessert, I'm gonna try me a piece of this Boston cream cake. Good cake. You like it? Yeah, I got the cream that time. Tastes real good. I bet it's the creamiest. I like Boston cream cake. I know you do. You know why you like it so much? Imagine those donuts. You know how I love a Boston cream donut. Here is a shot of our receipt. This has got the address for Shady Maple Smorgasbord. 
We got the lunch buffet today, but since it was a holiday, they charge you the same as dinner price because they have all the items starting their lunch all the way through dinner today. So we had to pay $22.99 a person. And then there's a service fee. And we found out that is your gratuity. And then the sales tax. So the total came to $81.39. So if you're coming for lunch, if it's a holiday, be prepared to pay dinner price. Even though it's Columbus Day. They have some of these three-dimensional artwork inside and these were done by this Abner K. Zook these large works of art on display here were made and displayed only in Abner's studio upon his death the art was purchased by his nephew and displayed in his home until being moved to Shady Maple in spring of 2014. The 3D art shown in these two displays illustrate one side of the Strasburg stagecoach stop and the other shows the opposite side of the buildings located in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. The pictures depict life around 1900 at a time of prosperity in the U USA. You have this one right here. And right around the corner, here's the other one on display. Look at the line of people waiting to get inside to enjoy the buffet. This place does the business. Right now, I'm gonna kind of walk around and show you a little bit of the dining room area. You can see how big this place is. Here's a separate dining room area. The one at the very back, that's the ballroom area. This place will easily sit over a thousand people at a time. Here's another dining room area. This will give you an idea how busy this place is. You saw the line inside, well it comes all the way out. It's almost to the length of the end of the building right here. Well, what did you think of a Shady Maple, David? Well, they had a large selection for lunch. What I had was pretty good. I think the best thing I had was the steak. My first plate, I got the steak, baked potato, some grilled onions. All that was very good. I went back and got some other items. But the steak, I think it was the best thing I had all day on the buffet here from Shady Maple. What about you? Well, first of all, I know you said it was a large selection for lunch. But remember, it was the dinner menu and it's because it's a holiday. That's true. So I want to make sure everybody realizes that, that it was the dinner uh, menu. They have just a few extra items. They said for dinner, then they do lunch. Um, overall, I thought it was okay. Um, my best thing was probably the baked potato. They had a nice fresh baked potato, it had not been reheated, it was hot. No. How did you enjoy your meal, Carla? I very much enjoyed the little salad combination thing I made. So, like I say, today was a holiday. It was Columbus Day. And, and I wouldn't have thought that would have been a holiday. Yeah, I wouldn't have either, but they consider that a holiday. So instead of getting the lunch buffet price of $16.99 normal, we had to pay $22.99. So 
That was one reason they had steak on the lunch menu because, like Cindy said, the normal din dinner menu is offered all day today. So you're paying for the dinner menu even though you're eating lunch. And but, when we first got here, it was enjoyable as far as getting around. It wasn't that many people. But you could see by that line David shot, by the time we left, there was so many people in there. So if you're coming, I would strongly suggest for you to come at the beginning of the lunch, which was at 1045, mm -hmm. I believe, to get here at 1045. Good. Right now, you can hardly walk around in that so busy. But we hope y'all enjoyed this video from the Shady Maple Smorgasbord. Go ahead and close this out, Carly. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to miss our latest videos. See you next time. Thank you for watching. God bless. Thank y'all now. Thank you. Bye-bye.